about to buy a home, using a loan to do so? Well, today I'm gonna walk you through the do's and don'ts of that process. We like to call it the 10 Commandments. Welcome to Married in Real Estate YouTube channel. I'm Stephanie Moore with the Dolky Home Group, primarily Peachtree City, Fayetteville, Noonan, and many, many more. We're here to serve your needs, whether you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate. The very first commandment we're going over today is changing jobs. What do I mean by that? Well, you shouldn't be changing jobs midway through your loan. That would be a no-no. Your lender will actually call your job even the day of your closing. That's right, they wanna make sure you're still working and everything is going good. And even if you're self-employed, all those actors out there, you can't change your job midway through. You've gotta keep your regular job that you signed on with that loan for till the very end. That's the way to go. Commandment number two, don't buy any cars, trucks, boats, or any other recreational vehicles like motorcycles because you may end up living in it. The reason why the lender doesn't want you buying a car, boat, or any other kind of recreational vehicle while you're in the middle of a loan is because it changes your credit score and it also changes your debt ratio. And now your lender's looking at you going, are they responsible enough to buy the house? They've got an extra car payment now. We wanna keep you strong and we also want that lender to think that you're responsible enough to carry this note and not add on others in the mid process of getting qualified. Commandment number three, don't overuse charge cards or fall behind on your accounts. Staying responsible with those credit cards, that means no falling behind on your credit cards. I know those shoppers out there, you think just one month's not gonna matter, but it will. Your lender's watching all your debt. Commandment number four, don't spend the money that you set aside for closing. I know, it can be very tempting to spend that money. It's hidden underneath your bed and you're thinking all that cash, nobody will know. And what's $100? What's $1,000? Nobody's gonna know, but guess what? They will. You're gonna need to be responsible and you're gonna need to keep that money hidden and save it for that closing day. This loan is definitely your priority. We can go shopping later. Commandment number five, don't open up new lines of credits with stores. You don't wanna keep opening up and racking up more debt. Remember, the less debt you have, the better off you are. Your main responsibility is your loan. Ways to avoid it is to not use credit cards. Just use the money that you have. And if you want to buy that furniture, wait till after closing. Commandment number six, don't buy furniture or electronics, even if it's for your new home. It's not worth it. I know, you see your local electronics store having a huge sell, or it's Black Friday and you're like, this is it, or Prime Day. You can't do it. You've got to wait till after your closing. Trust me, you can do it. You're stronger than you think. Little tip, ask someone else to buy it for you, and then you can pay them after the closing. You've got this. Commandment number seven, don't make any large deposits or withdrawals from your account. I know, that sounds a little weird, but let me tell you something. $100,000 all of a sudden ending up in your account with no explanation, and you can't tell a lender why? Sketchy. Don't make huge withdrawals, because they're gonna want to know why are you taking out $10,000 out of your account? Are you trying to buy some furniture? Are you looking to buy a car? No, keep all that money in there. Everything that you have in your account will need to be explained. Why it's coming in and why it's leaving. Commandment number eight, don't change bank accounts. Why you ask? Well, because a bank will hold all your money and your account and put a freeze on it until they've legitimized who you are. Now your lender won't get access to that account and that holds everything up. So you thought you had a great closing date set aside and that closing date has to get pushed. Nobody wants that, not the sellers or the buyers. You have a financial due diligence that's usually around 21 days. If you can't meet that, this is where it becomes a problem and everything gets tied up and you could lose the home. Commandment number nine, don't co-sign on a loan. 
I know, your best friend has this great idea and you wanna help support her and invest in it. Well, co-signing is not gonna help her or help you get that house. So make sure you wait till after the closing to invest into any great ideas. And call me, I may wanna invest too. In the midst of buying that home, you don't want to sign off on another loan like for your child. They wanna buy a car or they wanna get into a house themselves. You don't need to co-sign on that. Wait till after the closing, then help her out. And for our final commandment, commandment number 10, don't admit anything on your loan application. That's right, your AKAs. Don't change your name, don't change your birthday. Well, hey, you can change your birthday. I did till July. I used to be January. Eh, I don't need January. But guess what, if I fill out my form, I'm still gonna fill out January. And you need to make sure that you are filling out everything exactly as the way it should be. The things that you were born legally with on your name, and all the actual and correct amount on everything that you are conveying. And that includes child support and alimony. Well, there you have it. Now you know all you need to know about the do's and don'ts for the loan that you're getting ready to apply for. Good luck. I hope you liked and learned something from this video. Make sure you comment and subscribe down below because we need you as much as you may need us. Hopefully we can help you buy your next home. Make sure you watch our last video of a $1 million home located here in Peachtree City. Fantastic, we give a beautiful tour inside and out. And guess what, give us a call because if you wanna take that same tour, we'd be more than happy to show you.